So on the domino, I'm going to be using the first and the third pegs. That gives me tenons, mortises, like that. And on my drawing, I've set the timber at 75. But if I give it an 8 or 10 mil, imagine that cut off there. If I give it 10 mil rebate, it doesn't leave a lot of timber there. So I'm going to set them at about 80 mil. So I should bring the tenon in a bit more. Give me a little bit more timber there. First thing I did was draw the basic layout of the units, the full size of the units. Then I added about two mil all around for the doors. That gives about a four mil gap between each door. It's a bit more than I would have on the cabinet, but this is a kitchen, so nice to have a little bit of clearance. Didn't have a lot of choice, as you saw, in the pack. I picked the ones that were straightish that way, because that bend is very hard to get out without losing too much timber. But you see, I'll only get one timber out of that. I'll only get one piece out of that. Got a few on the rack here, same again. I'll only get one out of that. And the ones in here, these wider boards, if I made them 70 or 75, I'd get three out. But, like I just showed you on the tenons on the dominoes, it'd be too small. So a lot of these I'll only get one out of. Right, these boards are 3.1 metre, so I'll cut them in half, which is 15.50. And out of 1550, I can comfortably get two 718s. I'll put a straight edge on one edge, then rip them down. That'll give me a, an inch, inch and a half piece, which will be scrap, but at least it's a, a usable length rather than lots of little sticks if I was to cut this down into 700 mil pieces. I'll put a straight edge on with a jointer before I rip them down just so that I get a consistent 90mm so as I showed you on the dominoes I'm going to go about, about 80 maybe 85 for the rails on this drawing I put them about 70 and they look a bit skinny to me so what I like about doing this drawing it gives you a, a realistic view of, of what you're going to get in the end Uh, I've got, I can get two out of each one of these, two styles, that's the ones that go down the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, that should give me 12 styles. Then I've got two more, because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But I've also got these, they don't go all the way to the top. So... I've cut a couple to get those out. Right, I've cut a couple more. You could make a cutting list of all these parts. But I know I've got all the rails. So I'm going to start ticking off. I know I've got all the rails, so I'm not going to tick them all. But what I've done is 600 rails here. So they're all your styles up to there. And 600 rails. I've got three 600 mil doors. The rails are 446. So let's round it up to 500. So out of the 1550 out of half a board, should be I get three of them. So I've got two of them, so that's 
three six rails so that's that one that one that one that one that one and that one I've got them got them got them got them might have that got them got them might have that got them got them Okay, I am going to tick them all. These are little tiny offcuts. So what I need to do now is these, which are 346, and these, that are 646. I need four of them and two of them. So two of them is it's 700 so I'll cut a board in half again that'll give me two and then the other half of the board will give me two and I just need to find that I'm calling this the 500 unit because it's the only one that's 500 it's the corner unit but that's a corner unit as well so a bit confusing I've cut another board in half so 1550 that's 346 two of those, 400 is only 800 so I'll have some off cut off that but that's good because you always need a little piece just for setting up things all i got to do now is find a board suitable for this top drawer this uh, cutlery drawer and I can start machining them all so I'm drawing there 500 rail like I say, get two out of them with an off cut. Draw rails, 600 rails, and then all my styles. Right, first thing, I'm going to give this a clean. It's got a little bit of a hose spray on where I've been cleaning guns out. I'm going to use a bit of acetone. That gets rid of any resin build up on it. Now I'm going to give it a coat of this, this is Libron Wax Polish, this is an old cloth, sometimes I just give it a wipe down with this because it's got so much on it, but you don't need a lot, just rub it in, don't need to rub it in too much to begin with. Helps to stop rust as well. This, so I'll leave that for five ten minutes while I do the thickness. So now using a cleaner cloth, I've used it many times, but it's a lot cleaner than the one that I put the polish on with. I can now just give it a give it a polish. That wax has dried a little bit. Literally slow on. Makes it easier for planing, for pushing your wood across. Alright, time to put a straight edge on these. What I'll do is look down them, pick the size that curves inwards, you want the crown up as they call it. See that one curves that way. So that's the side I'll be putting down onto the planer. Right, they've all got one straight edge on them now. So what I'm going to do is rip them down. I want to finish about 80 mil, so I'm going to be generous because when I rip these down, they might bend a little. I don't think they'll bend much, but for the sake of five mil. So I'm going to set this at 90. I brought a little cheap blade that I put in a while ago. I'm going to give that a go sharp, so see what it's like. 
Otherwise, I'll have to put my big rip blade in. So they're cut to approximate width now. What I'll do is cut them to the length. Approximate length, I'll leave a bit. On these pieces, I'll go through the obvious rubbish. And the good pieces will go on the rack. And then next winter I might end up burning them if I haven't used them, but at least they're sort of usable pieces. Now I'm cutting these down, remember these are 1550. They're pretty much all 1550. I've got here the draw rails. I know that's draw, draw, draw rails. Draw rails only need to be 646, but I cut 15, 15 and a half. That gives me 1775, which is more than enough. These are these are 600 rails. So this is a 600 door, they need to be 446, so call it 500, these are 1550, so I'll just cut them down to 510, 515. Next I've got the 500 rails, which only need to be 346, so I'm going to round that up to 400. So what I'll do is cut two pieces off at 400, and then remember I want that waste piece. I want to keep that but I'll machine it up as I do all the other rails so that I've got that piece to set up me dominoes and I don't really need to set up the dominoes but set up the router just gives me a piece to play with right now I've got all the styles to do there's 12 of them so I'll cut six of these boards in half just to make it easier I'll set up a stop put a clamp on it well they're cut like I says extra and I've got that spare, so I've got all them bits to play with. I put DS, just draw styles. Like I say, I cut them in half, so I've just left them full length. If I cut them down into these little pieces, they're just they're just a bit short to manage. It's easier, it's easier planing longer pieces like this. So lots of planing now. I'll put a flat face on. If there's a bend to it, that'll go down onto the bed. So I get a flat face, square up one edge, then run them through the thickness, get them same thickness, all of them. Then we're running off that straight edge that I put on the planer, I'll put them through the saw, get them to approximate width, and then put them through the thickness again to get them all the same width. They're all planed both sides with one good edge. But this edge, that I put the pencil mark on where I went over the jointer, sometimes you get you get planing marks. I don't know if I can show you. You get like little ripples in it where I haven't put it through the over the jointer consistently. So what I'll do is run that through again, pencil mark up and the thickness so I'll smooth that out. You see it just there I think. So yeah, I'll give the thickness a... It's got a little arrow there. 
this spins round, so I'll set that zero, unlock it, and then I'll just turn it to this point. So that'll take, just take half a millimetre off that face, so it'll be nice and smooth. Right, they're all planed, got a nice flat face on both sides, removing that pencil mark. So finally, what I'll do is, pencil mark against the fence, I'll rip them all down to the same width, then I'll stack maybe four of them with the pencil mark down and the saw and edge up. Put them through the thickness so that will make them parallel make them the same thickness and give it a nice face and then like i did on the face i'll give them a final half a millimeter turn them over remove that pencil mark and that'll remove any any lines that i put in with the jointer Right, well they're all cut to final dimensions now, all planed straight and flat. Right, I'm going to cut all these to size now while my mind's on the job. It's when I cut them first thing in the morning, that's when I make mistakes. First thing I'll do is cut all these styles, not the drawers all these styles to size set up a stop the very first cut i make i'll make sure it's square make sure my saw square i'm just going to cut the corners off on this just so that when I put up against that end, there's no crap getting in the way. And I've got, I've got a laser on this machine. It's a bit bright today, but I set that. This very first one, you want to almost imagine that you're just putting the next one on, because then you'll get a, a true cut. So what I'll be doing is like that. Sometimes you get a fraction out, you know, a millimetre out or something if you if you're fiddling around and you're trying to put this one in place perfectly, because your next one you're not going to do that. You're just going to be bang, bang, bang. So that 
seven, eighteen and a half. So same again. Put it in as if you're cutting the fifth one, the eighth one, whatever. This is two of those styles that I've just cut, put them together. I'm going to do the 600 doors first. The overall size is 596. So I'll set that mark 596. And that one there tells me it needs to be 431. Uh, it's the first one of them cut before I cut all the rest. There's six of these to cut. I'll just check it before I get carried away. Five ninety six. So now I'll cut the rest. Just gonna mark all these before I do any more. So I'm just gonna put six on. This is for the little door. I'm gonna cut a piece off. 131. I'm just going to cut it a bit longer. I'm going to mark this one at 131. Get the ends flush. So that's for the little 300 mil door. I've just got this one on the drawers to do now, so they already look quite fat on that door. Too wide to put as a solid door, and these are wider than I. I think I put these down at 70 or 75 mil. And we're just over 80 mil there. So what I think I'm going to do is cut the styles. I'll leave the tops so that they all run through same thickness. But I think I'm going to rip these two styles down to. 70 mil maybe so i've ripped down them two styles put them through the planer clean up that edge and i want 198 which is there so i want 63 mil i'll have a couple of off cuts for that Right, so they're all cut. I've labelled each one. Draw 85, draw 70, little draw, 300 cupboard, 500 cupboard, and then three 600 cupboards. So I just have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The only one I haven't cut is that long board there. The waste of all that is, I've got a couple of spare pieces here, a few thin rips, these little pieces, which
which I could have maybe reduced down to that if I trimmed the boards but then I end up with lumps like this which I'll probably end up cutting and burning anyway so don't mind having little pieces it is tempting to do something with these little nice crisp edge that blade still doing a good job as you can see very square cut no chips no breakout and I was able to trim off half a millimeter if I wanted to and the only other waste were these just these six or eight pieces two four six eight nine pieces that was just the off cut off the board I'll use that again one day now I can start thinking about making dominoes, cutting them together, putting grooves in, cutting panels, gluing them up, making doors.